Hi, Stephen Lovely here for CordCutting.com. Today I want to talk to you about something that we haven't discussed too much on the channel yet, but that's becoming a bigger and bigger part of what we're doing on the site. That's VPNs or virtual private networks. Now, a VPN is a thing that's really gaining some traction among streamers as well as among computer users in general, and for good reason. It's a really good way to protect your privacy, and it's a really good way to unlock some stuff that you can't do without one. Today, we're gonna to focus on what they can do for streaming, but first, I wanna offer a really quick overview of how a VPN works. This is gonna be really light on details, so if you want something a little more in depth, go ahead and check out cordcutting.com's page on VPNs, and I think you'll find we explain it in some good detail there. But for our purposes here, what you really need to know is a VPN does two things. First, it hides your location, and second, it encrypts your transmissions. And it combines those two things in a pretty cool way. It does what calls tunnel your information, your data, the packets that you're sending back and forth, which is really everything on the internet. Every video game you play, every website that you visit is a packet of data that's being passed to you and your computer or PlayStation's interpreting it. All of these little communications are being tunneled to a remote server, a VPN server somewhere else in the world. And they're being encrypted along the way. When they finally pop out into the world, into the internet as we know it, anyone looking is gonna think they came from that location rather than the location where you actually are. You're gonna appear if you tunneled to Spain, you'll appear to be in Spain. If you tunneled to Miami, you'll appear to be there. You can pick a VPN server close or far from you, depending on your needs. The closer ones are generally going to be faster because obviously this takes time. In a very literal sense, you're sending information to one place and then sending it to another from there. So the further you're sending it in the first step, the longer it has to get back if you're going to something local, is really gonna to add to the lag time. But generally, closer to the server, the better. The closer to the server, the faster. And the bottom line is, wherever it ends up is gonna be where your traffic appears to come from. And on top of that, it's all encrypted. So somebody looking at it is not gonna know it's you. And even if they did know it was you, they're not gonna know where you are. That makes it really hard to pair data and information with actual users, which is really nice if you hate things like tracked ads, which are totally legal, or stolen identities, which are way worse and totally illegal, but also a risk on the web. Now, what about streaming though? Why would you need this for streaming? Well, broadly speaking, you don't need it. Sites like Netflix are not super known for vulnerabilities, though of course you can never be too careful, but they can do some really interesting things. Now, before we go too far here, I gotta warn you that you should check the terms and conditions of the streaming services you use, and you may find that some of this is not allowed with your particular streaming service. I would never ever tell you to do anything you shouldn't do, but you should also know that these are generally not enforced in the sense that you'll get kicked off the service. What they'll do is they'll block the VPN, they'll block the IP address associated with the VPN, things like that. So you may find you're not able to access the service until you turn your VPN off, which is why some sites like ours help people find different services that work well with the streaming services they like, VPNs that will not get blocked in that way. So why is it important to use a VPN when you stream? Again, it's not necessary and it's not super important in the sense that you're vulnerable, but it can let you do some really cool things. And the reason for that is that different streaming services have different catalogs or libraries, things you can watch in different countries. That's just a byproduct of how streaming rights work, right? If you write a big best-selling book and they turn it into a movie and somebody wants to stream that movie, you can sell Netflix the rights to stream it in America and sell Disney Plus the rights to stream it in Europe and no one's gonna stop you. Those are two different markets. It's up to you where you let them stream it. When they sign deals like this, that results in different catalogs. Netflix might have a movie available that it has the legal right to stream, that it's paying to stream in America, that it hasn't paid to cover in, say, France. And if you're in France, you just can't watch it. So. If you think back to what we said about VPNs, you can start to see how this works. If you use a VPN, you're gonna be able to choose which server you use. And being able to choose which server you use means you can effectively change your location from wherever you are to wherever you want to be. And that allows you to take a tour of Netflix's different catalogs or Hulu's different catalogs or Disney Plus's different catalogs. This is great if you're just looking for something new to watch or you wanna try something that's not available in your area or if you have a very specific title in mind and you happen to know that it's in a foreign catalog. Again, this isn't necessarily something that you're allowed to do, at least in the eyes of Netflix. It's not like it's breaking the law, but you might be breaking some terms of service. So just be aware of that and tread carefully and be sure to do your own research in terms of terms and conditions. Last thing I wanna mention is that some people use this to evade blackouts on sports streaming services. Again, definitely against the terms and conditions in this case, and I'm not necessarily recommending you do it, but who am I to stop you? So there you have it. That's how VPNs work with streaming services. 
they'll still give you all those privacy benefits. But in this case, really what we're after is that change in location. And that can really be interesting and unlock some cool things for you if you use it with your favorite streaming service. Thanks for spending the time with me. Once again, I'm Stephen Lovely for cordcutting.com. Hope to see you with the other videos and on the site. Hope you like and subscribe and can't wait to hang out again. Take care.